me. I, I'd say, you know, on, on the other part of the question around the, the Australian tech scene, you're starting to see more and more really great companies uh, come out of Australia. We've, we've seen Atlassian go public, uh, and they also have very similar DNA, a very profitable company uh, that was global from day one. These are some of the things that I'm seeing a lot of coming out of that Australian environment. One, a much greater focus early on on kind of business fundamentals and profitability because the fundraising climate hasn't been as fertile, let's say, as, as it is here. And so businesses are started and built kind of differently. And I think that we're seeing in the macroeconomic climate that we're in today that that is now being rewarded versus growth at all costs. It's smart and profitable growth. So that's one kind of atomic unit of Australian companies I think is great. The other is if you start a tech company in Australia and you have an aspiration to be you know, meaningful in size, you start global from day one because the local market can't really support any kind of meaningful scale. That's also a really great thing because you see a lot of U.S.-based companies very much focus on the U.S. market and, and then ultimately international becomes an afterthought or a chapter two. But I think when you start with that in your, in your DNA day one, that enables you to scale much, much faster and, and kind of more globally. And so that's you know, one of the things that's occurred with Campaign Monitor and a lot of other companies you're seeing come out of Australia, which I think is really exciting.